in San Francisco, baby, called the Cockette. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor, a pleasure, baby. I will remember this for all of time. Please give it up for the incomparable Rumi Masabo! Yes, I'm sick. Yeah, you. Can we, uh, let me just lower this down. Of course, baby, for you. Grandma needs to sit. I'm, I'm so old, I like to say I. Uh, the Dead Sea was just sick when I was a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably the oldest person in this room. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I need to sit. I've had a, a hell of a day and a hell of a tour. I want to thank uh, Donnie and uh, Greg for welcoming me back for the bureau. I had a safe. A great time last year for their gala performing, and uh, before that when they were on Esther Street. They've been so warm and kind to me each April and each October when I return to New York like clockwork. I love working here. I've been coming to New York and, uh, and uh, every October and every April since 2007 when I first did a show with, uh, way back with uh, Kenny Kenny. And uh, ever since, it's just been a fabulous ride. Uh, I, I'm not, I don't want to talk about too much of myself tonight. I'd rather show my work uh, with the time I have. Uh, everyone's heard of the legendary caucus. I don't want to get into all that. It's just, I've been yakking all day. Yesterday I talked to the kids at NYU for an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> I talked out, I'm directing a, a play in 101 tomorrow night uh, called The Questioning of John Reichener based on a cross-dressing male prostitute in medieval England with a cast of 17. I've been in rehearsals. <laughs> I've been in rehearsals all day directing that. So uh, I want to show you my work and share with you my work. Uh, I have a couple of uh, clips maybe some of you haven't seen and I want to share with them, with you tonight rather than talk about myself. I also, uh, I'm a shameless self-promoter and if any of you are interested at the end of my performance and who they don't kick us out by, by then as they're sweeping up, I have a brand new zine available that just came from Paris called uh, Brash Core from the kids from Teenage News. I hooked up with these two delightful uh, students from the Jesuit College in San Francisco. And they have an interview with, uh, um, uh, an interview with me and Penny Arcade. They're in Paris now, and they just sent these from Paris. And they're available for $2, or $3, excuse me, with a wonderful <laughs> interview for, with me and Penny Arcade, if you'd like to come up and uh, support Teenage News. I also have with me, I also have with me in my purse uh, that you can't buy and it's not available in stores. My original cult classic, Elevator Girls in Bondage. So if you'd like to come up and buy a copy of that, I have that. As well as uh, the Cockheads CD soundtrack of the Thrill Peathers revival of our 1970 musical, Pearls Over Shanghai, in which I played Madame Jin Sling for uh, originally in 1971 and then again for 22 months in San Francisco and then again in 2014 for another four months. So. Uh, I'd just like to uh, uh, be available to you afterwards as they're sweeping up, probably. <laughs> so I'll stay in the room as long as I can to answer questions. But for now, I'd just like to show you a, a couple of pieces of my work and invite you back tomorrow night to yes. the same room when I'm hosting I Wonder What Became of Me uh, with an all-star lineup of uh, some of the same people you saw tonight and uh, some, uh, some others. I have an all-star line from 6 to 8 tomorrow night come by the Bureau of General Services Queer Division, and directly following that, a benefit for the Bureau in Room 101 of my new dance attraction and my new passion of dance, the questioning of John Reichener, based on a, it's a true tale about a cross-dressing uh, male prostitute in the streets of medieval London in 1395 that I've discovered and set to dance. And Alejandro is in it, is that not? <laughs> I'm of a whore. Donna Persona, you saw earlier, is Elizabeth Broadner, the madam, and a beautiful cast and costumes of 17 of us. And you must come see it tomorrow. I'd love to share it with you at 8.30 in room 101. So to begin my presentation and stop yakking, I, I want to show you a piece I, I did in New York about four or five years ago. Uh, this uh, a Brooklyn alternative band called Mirror Mirror uh, saw me in something and they asked me to uh, star in their music video Interiors about a recluse and uh, 
I want to also tell people, if you're a performance artist, do the work. Keep doing the work. Because if you keep doing the work, you're going to get work. Someone's going to see you in something, and you're going to get something else out of it. Someone's going to give you an opportunity. So whether the work is good, bad, or otherwise, just keep doing the work. So I did something. I forget what it was. Someone saw me in, in, in something, and someone asked me to be an interiors. So here's interiors.